And so now today we're going to go and venture into the forest and see what we can find in the way of adventures because this is an adventure game and beyond robbing the house not too much has really happened. A couple of fights here and there but standard stuff. Now what have we here? So basically, it's a stingray that learned how to live outside of the water. These guys can be tough. It's because they're kind of hard to hit. But it looks like through my grinding I've reached a level. And he's another one of those that has nothing. At least we get some experience, right? And yeah, now we've maxed out our vitality. Good for us. I guess I can save it under the vaudeville name now. Well, we've certainly left the forest here. Rather friendly sign. Rather unfriendly sign. It's a very purple house, and we're going to climb the mountain. And depending on your skills, it'll have a different animation for the guy climbing the, climbing the mountain whenever he gets to the top. If you're at your absolute weakest, like if you come here near the beginning of the game, he's going to be crawling up the mountain. Sort of collapse for a second before he stands up. We have our first of many, many Monty Python callbacks here. If you don't type in your proper name, then it sends you back to the bottom of the mountain. And this is something you would have to discover through dialogue. Unfortunately, I've played this 101 times, so I know that it's Irana. But in order to find out that, you need to talk to like the magic store owner, I think, tells you that. Or um, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone else mentions mentions that. So now we can go into the house. And here is the second and last dragon in the game. Since I don't want to have to go through the questions again, we'll go ahead and try taking something. Like this helicopter here. That's definitely a helicopter, isn't it? Let's see what the right mouse click says. Okay, so we're taking the part of the player and not knowing that that's a helicopter, even though we know it's a helicopter. And Light and PD, that's a reference to the Police Quest series. So yeah, that's what happens whenever you try to take anything here. This guy right here is supposed to be a peacock. But I'm not sure how you would be able to tell that without having the right arrow click to look at the thing. And back in the time that this game was made, having a mouse was not a common thing, really. Um, at least it wasn't, as far as I could tell. Hello, Foch. And then he puts his feathers back. rat on the shelf suit of armor that's a reference to uh, what's it called the colonel's bequest it's a Lara bow game there were two of those picture of looks like an angry wizard right probably a reference to conquest of Camelot that's just 
That's a reference to Leisure Suit Larry 2. There you go, some jokey book titles. The Rosella Stone, which is a bad pun reference to King's Quest 4, one of those wretched King's Quest games. figured would happen. That's why I saved. So instead let's just go directly up the stairs like the gargoyle told us to do. Hey, that rat's moving. And well, what just happened? Okay, what kind of game are you thinking of? Yes, I know. Open. I'm pretty sure I bought all the spells. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So we can play a game of Mage's Maze, and if we win, we get the Dazzle spell. Sure, I'll play. Now, the way that this works is... Cast your spells cast open to open up those caves whenever they have boulders in front of them. Use fetch to drag a bridge over here. Flame dart attracts your little guy. This white one is mine, the purple one is his. The point is to get to this area right here. two meet and they're the same size, nothing really happens. If one is bigger than the other though, then the bigger one will eat the smaller one and the smaller one will start back where it's, go back to where it started from. The fetch also works on the ladders and the trigger spell will make them go up to the next size up. Which I believe they, oh man I just got eaten. I'm gonna win this time. I'm almost out of magic. That's right, he has to be at least medium sized to climb up and down the ladders, and he has to be small, I believe, to be able to pass through the caves. This is where he tells a bunch of really bad jokes. Anybody can guess the answer to this? Yeah, if there's skipping happening, I, it probably is due to Twitch's problems. It's been they've been going through a lot today. What makes it better than the punchline to a terrible joke? In order to stop him telling awful jokes, we're going to ask him about uh, I don't know. Let's just ask him about magic anything. So yeah, they got this whole back and forth dynamic going that they just kind of Keep going. And you can talk to him about a whole bunch of different stuff. Let's ask him about the hermit, since he had mentioned Erasmus. I 
He's referring to the trigger spell there. And yeah, you can ask about each of the different spells in the game if you want some more information on them. Hopefully asking about this won't make me play it again. Okay. What's this dazzle spell? So basically it has the same function as the calm spell which we already got from Irana's piece last time we were playing. I think it has some different functions in later games in the series, but for this one there's really not much uh, difference as far as I know. I could be wrong. I was never able to determine a difference though. If I ever win it from him I'll show you. Maybe, maybe we'll see then. Let's ask about stuff that's relevant to the plot of the game now. Oh. Fine. So apparently he plays cards with Baba Yaga. What's he think about all the brigands? It's more about this warlock. So he's not very good at what he does. Interesting. I'm not the leader. I'm kind of going after them. Oh. And if you ask... Oh, here we go. Another bad joke. Yeah, if you ask about too many things that don't really pertain to what he's programmed to answer, I think it's three, then he throws you out. Which, honestly, there's no way to really leave without being thrown out. Uh, and I say thrown out because he gets this really awful look on his face whenever he teleports you out of there. Even if you just say, gotta go, by or whatever. I'm trying to think if there's anything else worth asking him about. Oh yeah, that fox had mentioned we need to talk to the dryad. Well, come on, what's more interesting than a tree woman? Fine, I think we're done here for now. See you later. Did he watch his face? Oh, and it's night time. Apparently we were there a while. So at night time we get some more difficult monsters, which maybe we ought to be able to handle since I grind it up. Yeah, I typed bye and I think the game is just hard coded to just say bye back to you regardless. All right, this guy is. You remember the purple saurus? This is his. Mean older brother. And because he's a dinosaur, we're not going to get anything for beating him. It's unfortunate. But it's good that we're able to beat him. That's how you kind of know that you've reached the next echelon. And I think it starts bringing out the harder monsters once your, of course I always do that, once your experience is above, I think it's 1,000, maybe 2,000. It's one of those echelons where once you pass it, that sort of sets the trigger for the game to say, okay, now you get to fight the harder monsters. Because before if it, it, it was just goblins and brigands and the occasional uh, manta ray. But yeah, we're far beyond that now.
That is a Cheetar. I don't think we're gonna win this battle. Came into it a little weak. Oh wow. That was close. Now here's something that we would have had to talk to the healer about. Maybe we did and I forgot, but... You can get the claws from the Cheetar and bring them to the healer and she'll give you money. Uh, likewise with a troll's beard. The trolls are extremely difficult to beat in this game. They're sort of the hardest enemy. Let's see. So yeah, you get five claws for beating it. All right, I was wanting to check my health. Yeah, that's how close we got to uh, losing that battle. Two health points. So I think I'm going to try and find my way back really quick to civilization. But first, I've run across this. Look like plants of some sort, don't they? Nothing we can do here right now. Probably book it a little more. There's a troll, and I'm not going to try fighting him. We will run across one or two more of these guys. Probably more. Before the end of the game. And of course, because we've reached a path, troll just says, oh, you've reached the path. All right, good enough. I'll leave you alone. Turns around, goes back home. His troll cave or whatever. So we're going to climb the gate. We're going to get some sleep in the stable. Because we completely cleaned it up. Uh, it's probably because it's midnight. Maybe he's counting it as a new day because it's like 12.02 or something. So, alright, we can't sleep there. It's kind of bullshit, but what can you do? The last time we were at the Hermits, he said if we share our food with him, he'll let us sleep there. So, let's go see if he's still awake. Just can't up. That's where I needed to go. <laughs> One bite. That's it. Dead, dead. Let's try that again, shall we? Good. I was beginning to think I might not be able to. <laughs> oh, I just can't make this happen, can I? I'll try this one more time. That's odd. Why would it make me start walking there? Game's like, hey dumbass, you can't run up there, you'll fall. So we finally get to sleep, sort of. Which basically means that we don't get all of our health back. Only some of it. 
And by some, I mean almost none. Wow. Okay. Do I have any healing potions left? Did I drink them all? Oh, I do. And that gave us roughly half of our health back. But we're going to go ahead and go back to the healer, get some money for those Cheetar Claws. And go back to exploring the forest. I don't remember how much she gives. Let's see. Five silvers per claw. So she gave us 25. I'm not a very tough fighter. I'm a very tough thief. Alright, that's good enough for now. So off we go. Let's see if we can find those plants again. That didn't take long. Spitting a seed. Guess they were sleeping the first time we got here. Basically, if you kill the plants, then you come across somebody later in the game. Uh, they turn you into one of the plants. I was going to show you that, but no need. Enough wasting time. point of this is to catch the seed one way or another. As a thief, this is the way you're supposed to do it. You climb up and you catch the seed because the thief has the climbing capability. And you just wait for it to come into your hands like it just did. If you're a fighter, then you're supposed to get some rocks and throw it whenever the seed is in the air. You would think that that would be a horrible timing puzzle, but I think he just kind of gets in the position and the game just waits until the seed is animated a particular way and then he throws it. So it's just a matter of typing throw rocket seed for that. For the magic user, obviously you would catch the fetch spell on it. some more money. It's not much for a brigand. Reached the graveyard once again. We will be doing stuff here later on. For now, though, we're going to go this way. There's the mushroom ring again. Look at this. It said before it happened.
why would we do that? And here you go, pun assault. Yeah, obviously this is the one who turns you into the plant if you harm the plant. So yeah, if you hurt the plant, you've pretty much made your game unwinnable, as you're about to find out, because you kind of need something from here to be able to get any further in the game. So, we'll be human beings and leave the stag alone. Actually, no, that would not really be being human at all. Anyway, we'll be nice and we'll leave the stag alone. We'll walk up to the tree. And oh god, it's a woman! We didn't see that because the last bit didn't even happen. Are you one with the woods? Yeah, sure. Well, I got news for you, lady. I've already gotten that for you. No. Oh, alright, yeah. Prophecy. So we have to make the healer make something out of flowers, which we've given her, green fur, which we have, fairy dust, which we still need to get, a magic acorn, which we need to get, and flying water, which is basically the water from the waterfall that we already got. And looks like we got our acorn. Here's another game ending thing. Might have noticed we lost five points for doing that. That's, I guess, supposed to be a clue. Hey, dumbass, you're not supposed to do that, but I still don't care for the fact that that can happen in these games. Wonder if I can pet the deer. No? Alright. I guess we're gonna head over to the healer now, give her these ingredients, let her know what's happening. Hey, okay, we got work for you now. Oh. Saved, right? Magic number, too. Well, at least I got some experience for it. Built up some skills. Really? Low on, uh, well, I guess not. I miss my goblins. I miss my goblins and purple sources. I like to imagine he just walks in and just like an excited little boy. I've been to visit the Dryad! <laughs> I like how she's just like, okay, nice kid, whatever. I got shit to do. Alright, so let's give her the magic acorn so we no longer have any risk of eating it. Like idiots. <laughs> That's nice. So yeah, we already gave her the flowers, so she already ticked that off, so... Let's look at the green fur. Soft green meat fur. That was our last look at it. Now it's hers. No, all that's left is fairy dust. Helium. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and work up some of our dodge or parry. Really? 
real quick with the weapons master. Let's fight. This will give you an idea of the sort of stuff I was doing for the grinding. This and typing climb tree and climb wall and climb up and climb down over and over and over again. And what else? More of this. Throwing rocks, picking up a hundred of them, throwing them a hundred times. Picking my nose. I'm not even kidding about that. You pick nose in this game, it actually increases your pick lock skill. Unless your skill is too low, in which case you push the lock too far in and you get a cerebral hemorrhage and die. Pretty much doubled our parry. Uh, increased some other skills. Good for us. Now we'll go ahead and rest the day away. Because I want it to be nighttime for this next bit. We rest until we can't anymore, which is now. And it's still only mid afternoon, so we still have sunset to go through before the sun goes down. No montage this time. Just five silvers. And that did not increase anything except experience. <laughs> Let's go ahead and apologize for talking about his bald spot here. Compliment him on his mustache. You're welcome. Here, just to show you. And that'll increase your lock picking skill up to a certain point. about that ogre that cleaned our clock earlier in the game. Oh look, it's there's my goblin friend. And this is how we treat our friends. Now I was thinking about that ogre. I bet we could take him now and see what's inside of his cave. Just may do that. Very useful spell to have as a magic user since you're very weak. And I don't know if that's coming through the microphone, but it seems like the notes kind of froze there. escape that guy. I wonder if these restore all of your health. Nope. 
I don't do anything but make you not so hungry. Okay, this guy I'll take off. Yeah, Sirech. <laughs> That's about right. And it's night time. I think I'm gonna tend to the things that. Oh no! Damn it, I'm so sick of it. It's more obnoxious than anything. Hmm. Yeah, we'll fight this guy. Get some more money for his claws. Well, come on. Attack! After restoring the game, it's still there. That's funny. The g -g 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 ghost. Now's as good a time as any to show you what happens when you go into the graveyard at night, and why it's such a bad thing to be tasked to do to go into the graveyard at night. So stay out of the graveyard unless you have some form of protection. goblins right now. Well, this is certainly different from how it was earlier today. So when fairies ask you to do something, you better damn well do it. And if your agility isn't too high, you dance really poorly and they kind of make fun of you. some fairy dust.
right, so we got our dust. We're about to learn something else that you never do. And fairies. I feel like that was worth watching twice. <laughs> so yeah, we're done here. And we could go back, but I believe that they have an even longer train of dialogue that you gotta sit through. So we'll not be doing that. And we're able to sleep at the Dryad's place, so that's precisely what we're going to do. I believe this one actually heals you all the way when you sleep in this place. Okay, I stand corrected. Let's go off to that healer and get that Dispel Potion. Got that last ingredient, and man, that note is still holding back there. Oh, I could have fought a brigand. Oh well. And she means it. So yeah, they don't have to drink it. You throw the potion on them. And they have to make this distinction for a reason. That it won't work if the spell is caused by an item rather than a spell. Let's go ahead and end our ability to win this game now. Well, let's not. It doesn't even take anything away from your score like it does with the other game ending things. I guess they figure, you know, boy, you really must be stupid if you're going to do something like that at this point in the game. Now you may be wondering, if you're not a fighter, how would you ever get past this ogre to get to the cave? Because when you start walking, he steps up his speed and he will always catch you. Well, if you were a magic user, you would cast Calm and it would freeze him long enough for you to go around to the cave and get in. And he won't follow you in. If you're a thief, however, a pure thief, unlike us, who's a hybrid class, if you remember, uh, that won't work so well, so what you'll need to do is sneak and that doesn't work either <laughs> all right um, maybe throw daggers at him uh, I don't remember I was pretty sure that when you sneak uh, that would slow him down anyway the ogre's dead because I got them fighter skills Let's look at that ogre.
chest lock wouldn't happen to be unlocked, would it? I'll take it. Anything else? Anything hidden in the chest? No, that's right. And now we get to see what's in the cave. Bears are just like really big dogs, right? I'll just come over here and pet it. Guess we'll try a different approach. Yeah, we made a mistake, I believe, doing that. No, that's not canon. No, it's not what you're supposed to do. We feed the bear. We pet the bear. Or we don't. Let's get a closer look at him. And this manacle and chain are supposed to be enchanted, which is why we can't use the dispel potion on the bear to turn it back into the baronet. Won't even let you try. Okay, this is a kobold. It's a magic kobold. There are a number of different ways that you're supposed to take on this guy, depending on what class you are. If you are a thief, and your stealth is high enough, you can sneak right up behind him and take the key off of him, which... I think it tells you if you look at him. Yeah. Take the key from around his neck. But there are other ways to do it. You can cast Flame Dart at him and get into a mage's battle. Or you can just pull out your dagger slash sword and fight him. So chat, would which way do you want me to fight him? Which way do you want me to... I guess I shouldn't say fight him. Which way do you want me to take on this situation? Fighter, magic user, or thief? Because we can do it all. Yeah, I've got full magic. I know there's a delay, so I'm going to give it about 10 more seconds. Okay, you want me to be sneaky about it, alright. Here's hoping I've practiced my stealth up enough. It's weird, because it'll only let you walk at certain spots. There's also, for completists, a treasure chest down here. It's invisible. Yeah, 
Yeah, when the chest explodes, it does a lot of damage to you. for this game to make me get it. Now if we do, uh, for at this point we can leave. But if we fight and beat the kobold, we'll get an extra line of dialogue later. Ooh, we want that, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. to keep on typing fight at this thing. There's also supposed to be music here and there isn't. And he's dead. We're gonna leave the mushrooms behind, they don't do anything. If we eat them it just burns our stomach or something, probably hurts us. Let's go ahead and unlock the bear. I just love typing that command. cave adventure is finished. I know it looks like there's a path back here, but there is not. It just sort of dead ends. Badoop. So I guess we're gonna leave the cave. We're gonna go back to that castle. And have a baronet party. probably get attacked by a bunch of things on the way. Or maybe not. Or maybe so. Oh, this one's got a mustache. It's a nice touch that you didn't see in too many games of the era where they had different personalized looking... They had maybe four or five different faces for the brigands. Yeah, no, I'm saves coming. Oh wait, I think he automatically does it. So we finally get to go to the castle. This was a really big deal for me the first time I did this in the game because and suddenly the uh, note is back weird because you cannot get into the castle no matter what you try out before this point. Extra line of dialogue. Okay, two lines of dialogue. 
three, four. So you get more than you bargain for when you watch this stream. limited amount of time to ask him whatever you want to. I always found it weird that the baronet was so kind of, you know, nonchalant about the fact that he just spent years and years as a bear in a cave. So maybe he doesn't realize how long has passed. Okay, what's going on with the brigands, Baron? Well, there's a fortress. Okay, yeah, this is the default. I don't have a programmed response to this question. That's right, Noel. The Baron's son just came out as a bear. Uh, brigands look, yeah, all the dinosaurs and kobolds are exactly the same. It's, this is a very humanist game. <laughs> uh, what else can we ask about? Let's ask about your daughter. What about your jester? And the curse. That's kind of selfish. Kind of a leader, are you? What's this prophecy? You're the second person to bring it up today. Comes a hero from the east, that's me. Free the man from in the beast, that's the baronet. Bring the child from out the band. Drive the cursor from the land. Where's your wife? Where'd she go? Oh. <laughs> Let's have a feast. Oh. Let's have a food. <laughs> Am I a hero? Mm, I see that it's getting late. <laughs> my cape in there, my favorite second cape. Can I go back and oh, back to that again? And the note is back again. louder this time. That certainly won't get old. Let's grind a little more here. I'm doing this because while we don't really use parry and dodge at all in this game, and not much of the next one either. We will be using it in, I think it's the fourth game in the series where combat really becomes sort of more complicated than just 
Attack, 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 attack. Work up some of our dodge, too. Yeah, like I told you, every stat maxes out at 100, so I want to get it maxed out. In the second game, every stat maxes out at 200, and the third game at 300, and so on and so on and so on. So rather than have to go in at a handicap in the later games, I'll go ahead and max it out here while it's still super easy to. Thrilling action. How are we doing on that? And yeah, we're getting closer. So we have the dispel potion. We learned about the brigand ambush. What we have not done yet, though, is met this Baba Yaga, even though we've already been by her house. Yeah, we got plenty of money for this. Especially since we just got the reward of 50 gold coins. So what we need to do is buy that expensive undead unguent. Probably not pronouncing that right. Because we will need that for the quest that we're about to get ourselves roped into. away and then that away. Don't have time to fight that thing. Yes. I haven't even been in there yet. Weren't you paying attention last time? So we stride up to the hut, say the rhyme, which is hut of brown, now sit down, and the... Yeah, and you're not supposed to do that. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Alright. For real. size that spider. And pardon me one moment. I believe a dog is calling me. It's in my best interest to respond. Be right back. Let me know if any ogresses show up and kill me while I'm gone.
All right, enough looking around. This is seeming like a better and better idea. about way to have frog legs. If you don't pull it right when it says it's the middle of the night, then it's going to just disappear. Yeah, this is the part of the game where it's super easy to make it unwinnable, because she means that if you do not bring the root back. You do not bring the root back before that. Before the uh, day turns to dawn, you're gonna die. And it looks like it's nighttime already, so we're in a good start. Don't have time to fight trolls, don't have time to fight goblins. All we got time to do is run to the graveyard. And it looks like we're close. Which way is it from here? I think it is uh, this way. Nope. Now we already saw what happens if you walk in without protection, so let's go ahead and protect ourselves. It only lasts for so long, but it lasts plenty of long enough for us to be able to get what we need. Except I kind of messed this up, didn't I? Uh-oh. <laughs> it yet. That would have been horrible, because yeah, you're supposed to wait until midnight. I just said that. <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh, well, we're waiting for midnight to come, and this is one of those parts that I'd mentioned in the first, first part of the playthrough, where you gotta just sort of sit around and you got really nothing much to do until that point. Um, I'm going to let the game clock 
tick down just a bit and let the dog back in, and then if it's still not midnight, I'll go get in a fight or something. I'll be right back. That's right, waiting is the new level grinding. Maybe the old... Nothing. Alright, we'll fight something. What will it be? fight even if they don't want to. I think it's when this guy comes out. And this is the gimmick of this place. They add one more goblin each time you come back. Until you've got a line formed behind them and you just keep fighting and fighting. Ah, you are getting tired. That means that it's midnight. So we'll go ahead and collect our money. I think this guy has none. Yeah. save on a different save file just in case I mess up some kind of stupid way. And for real this time. get that back to our good friend, the Ogress. Sorry fellas, can't play today. Necessary quest item, that's all. Yeah, I kind of know what I'm doing. Hmm, she cast the spells backwards this time. First frog, then stay.
tingling sensation is the undead stuff from earlier. just for food. game uh, heavily, heavily, heavily hints at what you're supposed to do to her. It's just a matter of how. Because there's no frog spell in this game that you can cast. I think it's time we try to fight a troll. I think it's time we beat a troll. I think it's time we search a troll. I think it's time we get a hint that we can take the troll's beard. I think it's time we take the troll's beard. Why, you ask? Because you get two healing potions from the healer when you give her some beard. Those are good to have when you're a thief in the scary world of Spielberg. That's right, it's this way. That thing doesn't chase you very far. Some of them will. Okay, I think this is one of the places, the only place other than the inn that restores you back to full health. Yep. That extended note is getting super obnoxious. You forgot how to hit things? Come on. sell off some of these things, man. I wonder what makes it come back and turn off. Okay, it sells all of them at once. That's good. trying to think oh yeah still never sold to those mushrooms and that's all you can sell her is those after that she'll say thanks but I got enough leave me alone can think of is the, uh, the chainmail armor, which you're only supposed to get if you're a fighter. It's very heavy, but it, there it is again, 
but it does give you a lot more protection against um, getting hit, obviously, as armor does. I don't know, let's see. Five hundred silvers, whatever. That's nothing. I think you automatically wear it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it didn't didn't add too much weight to us. I think the only thing left to do outside of the brigand assault is to go ahead and beat that cocky weapons master. We may be at the point that we're able to do that. I mean, we can beat a troll. He's just a guy with a beard, you know? No, you would think it would affect your stealth, but it doesn't have any effect on it now. Let's fight. I'm just going straight for the kill, and it looks like I may win, because he's backing up some. I can go ahead and grind up the dodge and the parry at some point in the next game. thing about him is once you beat him, he gets all butt hurt and he never fights you again. You never see him again. I'm about to see that happen, I think. I think. <laughs> And I mean, YouTube comment, but hurt. Hey, hood. <laughs> so, alright, I believe we're done for good at the castle here. Until the very end of the game. We'll be back for that. had one more thing to say. So yeah, we're not going to end the game maxed out, I don't believe. But we don't really need to, do we? Really, what fun is it if you are uh, have absolutely no chance of failure on anything? Let's see. Mm. Actually, yeah. The thug does beat you up if you don't know the thief sign. And if you do, they give you the password. Speaking of thieves, I'm waiting for this guy to come back. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll just see what's happening over here. I was trying to be all coy about it, and no, I, I wasted too much time. So. 
Bruno, the guy on the left, is the one who was hanging out by the uh, town gate. And he's talking to one of the brigands. I wonder if they're talking about the brigand ambush, and now they're referring to the back entrance. The one that the Baron was talking about. I guess I'd be the creep. After I'm dead, then... I guess there's a revolt against somebody. This mysterious she. The back entrance is by the bouncer. Brutus, the brigand, has the key. There's a special word so that Fred goes away. Who's Fred? Hide and go seek. Fred likes games, apparently. And yes, you do have to spell it correctly, otherwise it doesn't uh, doesn't register. And Fred will get very mad. And now the game has told it to you three or four times. So before the chief misses him, so he is a thief. And the chief thief was bitching about somebody who's consorting with the brigands. I think we've discovered who that is. Since it's relevant, we'll save it under the Thieves Guild password. Save file. Now, here's one of the other parts of the game where you have to just sit around and wait for a while because you just watched this conversation. And if you leave too soon, Bruno sees you and kills you. Likewise, I think if we go this way, oh wait, alright, well that worked. But then we come back and he kills us, or he throws daggers at us. Wait, <laughs> now hold on. So, yeah. Here we wait. Unfortunately, I didn't rest after the fight with the Weapons Master, so that worked out well. Could you emulate this off a of Mac? You know, uh, I think if you go through Wine Bottler, I believe is the name of it, on a Mac, you can run DOS application or executables, uh, PC applications. I meant to say, uh, and DOSBox, I think would work. Um, it'd be kind of weird because you'd basically be emulating a system, emulating a system that way. But I don't see why that wouldn't work. Uh, do, do look into Wine Bottler. Is he gone now? Yeah, he's gone now. So as a thief, you're supposed to have a bunch of daggers at that point and throw them at him. However, that's boring and takes forever. We like it better this way. He's a slightly tougher brigand. Goes down just as easy, though. If not a little easier. I don't carry no money. Actually, no, if you're a thief, you don't even need to get the key. You can pick. Fuck, I hate this thing.
I want to see if I can get maximum points out. Must be sunset. So let's see, we've beaten the weapons master, we saw the meeting happen. Some of the games have Mac versions, yeah. Oh, I missed the note here that I was supposed to pick up before seeing those two talk. So I probably won't be able to get the maximum score. It's okay, it just slightly changes the message that you get at the end of the game. Like, wow, you really are a hero. I'm going to go ahead and sleep at the inn, get all my health and stamina and such back. And we're going to go ahead and finish the game. Or die trying. See you, Sheriff. Go and finish a game. The auto. Goodbye, log. I wonder if his corpse is still there. Nope. They cleaned it up. Who they are, who knows. Oh wait, I wanted to get the Dazzle spell, didn't I? We'll have an opportunity to after this is done. Okay, I'm not going to pretend like I don't know what it's called. Basically, he gets in your way, you can't really... Item. And the only thing you can get attacked by down here is brigands, I believe. There's a good reason for that. Perhaps you've figured it out. Now, as a fighter, what you want to do is just charge through it and have arrows shot at you, which comically stick out of your body. Get to the logs, jump the logs, fight the three brigands, and go through, where you'll soon reach another encounter. And we'll go ahead and do that, just to show you what it looks like. But that's not the canon way that we're going to stick with. Oh, I'm already running. Stop shooting arrows, they're just kind of looking at me now. So we'll save it there. But that's not the way that it happened. I didn't even know I was trying to escape.
Those brigands are about as good at blocking as we are. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, nine. Wow, that's a new low. I don't think I've ever gotten any sum that low as far as silvers go from these guys. wonder if it's based on the location. All right, now we're back by the Antwerp bouncing around. That must be the bouncer that they were talking about. Ah! I'm just going to rest, hang out here with the bouncer. Hang out here with our Antwerp friend. Uh, what do you mean, hood? Really sketchy sound reception? Is, is the stream stuttering or something? This is how you can get around the Antwerp and he won't bother you anymore. But it's not really that much fun. This, however, is. And so he's gone. And this is another gotcha if you don't know what to do. Fortunately, I believe we do. We'll deal with that another time, though. And we have found the rock they were talking about. Now we could use the key, but we're a thief, so I believe we actually get points if we pick the lock. And we don't, so it doesn't really matter. It's already unlocked, yeah. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and push that rock out of the way. Yeah, Hood, Twitch chat will warn you if you send in a lot of messages. Okay, so that was all they said, right? You just open the rock and go on into the cave and... Oh wait, what about Fred? Yeah, this is uh, just your standard troll fight, but I do believe it gives you points if you say hide and go seek, and it does. So now we walk into the cave. Apparently our cave adventures are not quite done yet. Big gross pile. I see a head in there. Go ahead and see what's going on in that pile. And Fred has come to seek. He hid and he seeked, and indeed he found. Uh oh. Can I drink a healing potion in the middle of a battle? Nope. I did not prepare for this properly. This is going a little bit better, isn't it? pile of garbage. Garbage juice all over the floor and getting it on your hands just for the sake of 
30 silver and 5 gold. Garbage day. It did look like I yanked all his bones out, didn't it, Phoenix? Alright, yeah, I'm safe. He's coming here. I need to stop. Now, as a thief, what you're supposed to do in this next part... Is sneak past the Minotaur silently. And sometimes he'll see you. And it'll take me a while to remember exactly how you're supposed to get past him. There's some trick to it that I can't really remember at the moment. Because usually whenever I play as a thief, I'm multi-classed, so I would always just fight him. isn't a word, is it? I think if you rest here, you die. Yeah. This room is full of gotchas. That's gotcha number one. Those are hints. That's gotcha number two. And as you can see, I've got arrows going into me now. Since the rug had a note that said step here, and that thing, bridge has a note that says step here, we should probably take the other bridge. It doesn't have the note. Gotcha number three. Three indeed. left is to get to gotcha number four. You may be wondering, how do you get over it? Do you sneak over it? Well, what if you, well, it doesn't even matter, you can't sneak over it. How about run? Can you run over it? No, you can't. You have to figure out that the game wants you to do the very rarely used command. Step over rope. 
All right, this next bit is completely based on timing. quick enough and I think if you push this chair too early while they're still watching you through the door I think it was a little too late this time yep I gotta wait until they're just behind the table and push the thing over. And yes, that is the Three Stooges. Oh, man. I don't remember the timing being so precise on this. If you don't talk to this guy the right way, he'll stay in here the whole time and throw things at you, knocking you off into the uh, pit where, well, this happens. And you just keep going in a non-stop cycle until you stop yourself. And you see he's throwing things. See, this is where you screwed up. You cannot do the proper way that you were supposed to do it. You're not supposed to move. You're supposed to talk to him and figure stuff out at this point. Have you figured out who this is yet?
Oh, sorry. Um, Alright. I think we're done talking here, so... Uh, talking about the weapons master who we soundly beat. We can get through this room without having to deal with a gnome throwing things at us every step of the way. closes after a little while. This is kind of a difficult walkway to navigate. Oh yes, the game does need to explain its joke over and over and over again, oftentimes. Alright. In we go. We have reached the brigand leader that we've been hearing about this whole game. Ah, thank you. Let's fight. That's how that goes. And the potion changes clothes, too. setting something back a dozen years. another timed bit of the game. if I can. Get the mirror, which is this thing right here. Let's look at some stuff. There's a 
statue of a blackbird that figures into the whole series. Uh, just a generic treasure at this point, though. I guess you can't right-click the stuff in here. No, tell me that's not an Oscar statue there. Oh, and look, I was wrong. There are three dragons in this room. And it's just a generic treasure. What happens if we just stick around now? Let's just rest a while. Yeah, I guess if you rest anywhere in the fortress, that's what's going to happen. Sure don't. That's what happens. Alright, off we go. Alright. And we're done with the Brigand Fortress. So, we're just going to, I guess, go up to... Uh, Baba Yaga's put. And yeah, remember how we fought the Antwerp earlier? That's what happens. And that's how you're supposed to figure out on your own to survive that. Otherwise, you have no way of getting around it, I believe. Of course, you wouldn't have to deal with this at all if you didn't fight the Antwerp like a jerk. Well, it makes me wonder if you can just walk around it where the trigger point is. I'm just going to try this once. Okay, so I guess uh, it's not a total game over there. Now then, it's up to you, chat. Do you want me to try and go beat the uh, wizard at Mage's Maze, or do you want me to just go ahead and finish the game? dazzle in the next game anyway. Since there's no fairies here to yell at me, I'll just walk all over the inside of their ring. to give Fred's beard to the healer. Once more with feeling.
one note wizard here. Last painful pun. If I would have gone just straight back to the castle without doing that with Baba Yaga, I would have gotten an ending, but it would have been a pretty bad one because it says, oh, Baba Yaga's still here, so a shame. More bad stuff's gonna continue to happen. But we didn't do that because we're heroes. bad for 1988. Yeah, I agree. The portraits are kind of wretched of the hero and the close-ups. Yeah, no, they're being creative with the credits. You know, it's funny that you say marry you off to the Baron's daughter. But this won't come up again until much, much later, long after we've forgotten that I said these words just now. You'll remember, huh? We'll see about that. <laughs> I was sleeping behind the mountain. What'd I miss? So, yeah, that's Quest for Glory 1. Kind of, sort of did already, game. And we can save our character to use in the next game. That's one of the coolest things about this series is that you can continue using the same character with the same skill points and most of the inventory that it'll let you carry over into the next game. <laughs> 